afternoon uh, and welcome to my studio. I'm Ruth Cox and I'm a paintings conservator in Durham, North Carolina. And I've been very fortunate. Um, I was asked by Wake Forest University to conserve this lovely painting of Peter Harrison by John Singer Sargent. And today I'd like to talk to you a little about the conservation treatment. At the moment, um, much of the conservation treatment has been completed. I'm in the final phases of the treatment. Um, the painting is now um, stabilized, it's been cleaned, and I'm just doing the final retouching to get rid of any flaws that time and past conservation treatment have caused to the painting. The treatment began with a thorough examination of the painting and at that time it was lined meaning another canvas was added to the back of the original canvas and the adhesive used was um, a glue an animal based glue adhesive this adhesive um, is not the best to use as a lining material and unfortunately the back of the canvas had developed a lot of mold and this was due to the nature of the adhesive itself. So as a result, um, we decided that the painting, the adhesive and the old lining canvas should be reversed. So at the bottom of the painting, about an inch of added canvas um, was found. And that canvas most likely was taken from the original tacking edge of the painting and added to the bottom to extend the composition and change the format slightly of the picture. During this conservation treatment, we took off that later edition and returned the painting to its original format. Um, that was all done um, after the painting, the old varnish had been taken off the surface of the painting, the structural work was done. And this um, meant putting the painting face down and removing the old canvas from the reverse and then removing the old adhesive. After that was done, a lining, a new lining canvas could be prepared and um, the painting was lined on the vacuum hot table. After the lining, it was stretched onto a new stretcher and you can see the new stretcher here on the back and the label from the original or the earlier stretcher was taken off and it reattached to this new replacement stretcher. So the painting now is returned to closer to its original format and um, after the retouching is completed uh, it will go up in display at Wake Forest. Hopefully um, the painting is a little closer to how it looked originally.